everybody, we're here with Chef Kyle Seek with Local Burrito and Heartland Burrito. How are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for sharing uh, what you do with us today. It's a beautiful Iowa yeah. City summer day. Welcome to my backyard. Thank you for having us. Um, tell us a little bit about how Local Burrito and how Heartland Burrito came to be. And Local Burrito um, started at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And right now, we local burritos, uh, a roaming food truck. We do a farmer's market. We do go up to the hospital every week. And we're kind of diversified into a lot of special events. I really enjoy catering people's weddings. Some of my clientele are people in their 20 to 30 range that want something more exciting than your traditional like steak and potato dinner. So what we, we take the truck, we show up. Uh, we do a lot of barn chic events for rustic setting have the food on site, cook everything in the truck, put out a spread, let people self-serve and make their own tacos. And that's been really popular and rewarding for us. And uh, yeah, so markets, street food truck, and catering is what Local Burrito is about. Excellent. How many burritos do you think you make a week? A week? Um, out of Local Burrito, we maybe do 350. Uh, you know, the hospital will do 120 on Thursdays. Farmers markets, we do around 200. Um, in the, the wholesale side of things, we make 500 burritos a week. And I've lost count how many we've made. We're definitely over 100,000 burritos from all the facets that we've done. So tell us about uh, the food truck. What kind of truck is it? Sure, it's a 1976 small block Chevy engine. Um, it's really, really dependable. Uh, there's a lot of, they've probably made a million of those engines, so there's parts are really easy. Uh, my mechanic fills repair. This lives in town, and I call him every once in a while if I have a, an issue related to, you know, a flooded engine or why isn't this doing this. So, uh, other than that, the truck used to be in Ames. It was, it was a food truck. It started out pretty much a blank slate, and we just added what we needed. We have a really basic truck. A lot of trucks can be really expensive, hundred thousand dollar rigs. Thanks for joining us here on 319 Dine. It's, it's clear you have a passion uh, behind Local Burrito and Heartland Burrito. And thanks for sharing that sure. with us. Um, can we see how some burritos are made and, sure. and maybe taste some? Let's go check it out. Awesome. All right. Thanks, man. Hey guys, it's Jared here with 319 Dine. We're down here at the University of Iowa checking out Kyle and the crew with local burrito, slanging those hot, fresh burritos. Let's go take a look. Kyle, where are we and what are we doing? Yeah, we're at the John Papa John Biomedical uh, Food Truck Rally. It's called Science Thursday. Every Thursday you have about 12 to 13 trucks show up here. And we've been doing this for three years now. We show up at 10 o'clock, food service is from 11 to 1, and we crank out burritos and smoothies. How many uh, burritos do you think you'll go through today? Uh, on a good day like today, when the sun is shining, we'll hope to do about 100, 120 or more. Wow. We usually sell out around there, and then it's time to go home. Sure. And you guys are selling smoothies too. What kind of smoothies do you have? Yeah, we rotate our seasonal fruit. Uh, we like to feature organic fruit. Uh, today we have banana, peach, strawberry, and fresh spearmint Yum. from my garden, all mixed together. So Delicious. We had that. Very good. Come by and sample that. Kyle, uh, where can people find out where you guys are going to be at any given time? Sure, uh, Local Burrito Catering on Facebook, at Local Burrito on Instagram, and uh, Local Burrito on Twitter. They're all linked together and always updating. But we'll be here through October, and this, this has been a really successful event, and this should be going on for hopefully years to come. Sounds good. And you guys are at the Iowa City Farmers Market, too? Yep. What every days? Yep, every Saturday through October. So Thursdays and Saturdays, the only two days to have our truck in public. The rest of the time, we're either doing catering or some of our wholesale stuff, which you can check out. Sounds good. And if you guys want to check out uh, Kyle, find his website. He does catering as well. And uh, we'll see you soon. 